Shine. The Adventures of Scuba Jack. Copyright 2020 by Beth Costanzo. It was another colorful sunrise in the Andes Mountains of Peru. The land pulsed with life as Alejandro looked upon his herd of alpaca grazing on the lush hillside. Their wool will make fine, beautiful clothing someday, he thought to himself. He walked into the old stable at the edge of a cliff. He saw Elena, one of his finest alpacas, giving birth to a beautiful baby. Elena, you had your baby, said Alejandro. The little alpaca lay quietly next to his mother. Alejandro noticed that one of the baby's ears flopped forward. Alejandro tried to lift it and make the ear straight, but it continued to fall over. The sunrise peaked between the boards of the tiny run-down barn. Its golden rays glowed and shined upon the tiny baby. Alejandro thought to himself, I will call this beautiful creature Shine. He will shine brightly in my herd and will become one of my best alpacas. During the week, Shine gained more strength and more weight. Alejandro returned to the barn. Shall we go out into the fields? Are you ready, little one? Shine and his mother followed Alejandro to the beautiful mountain pasture. There were many young alpacas eating their morning breakfast. They looked at Shine and noticed he was different. He was smaller and had one floppy ear. Just then, a young alpaca walked by and said to his mother, Why is his ear flopped forward? He looks so silly. Keep walking. You can play with the other alpacas, she replied. A year passed, and Alejandro was impressed by Shine's size. He was much larger than the other alpacas. His ear still flopped forward, making him look different from the rest. During that time, Shine made many friends. He had one very special friend whose name was Benita. Benita was very kind and loved Shine despite his floppy ear. It was Christmas Eve and all the alpacas were resting in the fields. Shine spotted an unusual orange bird nesting in a tree. Its wings were dazzling with bright, beautiful colors. It squawked and swooped from rock to tree to rock again. Shine was intrigued and wanted a closer look. The more he followed the bird, the farther Shine roamed away from the herd. The sun began to set in the distance and Shine suddenly realized the other alpacas were nowhere in sight. He was so distracted by the amazing bird to notice he had wandered too far from the herd. Shine called for his mother, but there was no response. He knew he should not be alone. Wolves and other animals would be looking for their nightly meal. Back at the stable, Alejandro realized Shine was missing. He took his lantern and walked far into his fields. As he walked, he stumbled into a hole and fell to the ground in pain. He knew at that moment that his ankle was broken and he wouldn't be able to walk back. He continued to yell for his prized alpaca. Finally, after some time, he heard the reply he wanted. It was Shine. Shine followed Alejandro's voice until he found him. Alejandro said, I can't walk. I broke my ankle and you need to carry me home. Shine knelt down so that Alejandro could climb on his back. Alejandro grabbed his lantern and the two headed for home. Finally, 
Alejandro saw the light from his house in the distance. He knew his wife and children were looking for him. Alejandro called out to his family, I am here! I am here! His family ran and helped him down from shine. Alejandro saw the local doctor who treated his ankle. Then Alejandro enjoyed Christmas Eve with his family. The next morning, Alejandro grabbed his crutches and limped into the stable. He saw Shine resting next to Benita and between them was a beautiful baby alpaca. The morning sunrise peeked through the boards of the old barn and shined upon the tiny baby just like the day Shine was born. Alejandro grinned and said, Shine, you are a father now. She was born on Christmas Day and is the best present of all. He noticed the baby's ear flop forward just like Shine's. Alejandro felt blessed that Christmas. As he looked upon the beautiful baby, he thought to himself, every day starts with a sunrise, but it's what is done before the sun sets that matters. Each day is a new beginning and holds the possibility of a miracle. Visit us at www.adventuresofscubajack.com Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Everybody and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack. It's a shark attack. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with activity book. See you soon.